This video is for creating a gradient map uh, and baking out a gradient map to overlay on your diffuse, maybe diffuse only texture or something. So the first thing to do is take your UV mapped object. So if we look at our UVs, they're laid out in like I want them to be. Uh, duplicate that. Duplicate. And then assign that to a layer, that new duplicated mask. And we're just going to call this a uh, gradient layer. Hit save. Now we can turn that off. And we have our initial one here. And that we're going to add to a layer. And we'll just call this uh, just so we can kind of separate uh, these. So we'll hide the initial one. Let's pull that gradient one back. And the first thing we need to do is go to our hypershade and we need to make uh, a ramp shader doesn't matter if it's a Lambert or a blend, you're just baking out color, so, uh, you know, the specularity or the other materials on the, on the actual material don't really matter. So, let's just uh, assign this to there, and then go back under here, under your Lambert properties, and click the checker box to the right of color, and under there we want to throw on a ramp. And if you hit six, if you're not seeing any colors, hit six, and you should see some colors, and it'll look really weird. That's okay. So we'll double click that, go to color, click on the arrow. Now what you want to do is adjust this gradient and click on the circle to the left of the red, uh, the bottom. And I usually get a near black. I, I don't like getting complete black, so I'll, I'll take to something like a near black. And then uh, for the top portion, I'll add a uh, white. So click on the color. And we'll add white for that. Now what we need to do is take this and actually get this gradient working so it's light at the top and dark at the bottom. So we want to go to Create UVs Planar Map, and it doesn't matter as long as it's in the Y or sorry the X or the Z. Y is the only one you don't want it to do. So the front or side. So we hit Apply, and then I usually scale these out a little bit just so they're not completely touching because I've had it sometimes where the bottom UVs, uh, this will wrap and so you get a little bit of white on the bottom. So just kind of scale it in a little bit. But now we've got this, which is what we want to overlay on top of our maybe hand painted diffuse. And then we've got this, which is our, um, which is our initial layer or initial object. So what we're going to do is hide our gradient, show our initial, select our initial here, and go to transfer maps rendering, lighting and shading, transfer maps. And what we want to do is we don't need a normal map. We just need a diffuse color map here. So let's go ahead and click on diffuse color map and we'll save that out to the desktop. And save it as whatever format you want. Um, my common output settings, you want to make sure that's turned on. Adjust the size here. The fill texture seam is the edge padding. Uh, the one thing with sample quality, I have noticed a difference, so I, I would recommend crank it up to uh, high. Uh, I'm going to just turn this to low just for this video so it's not uh, doesn't take too long to bake. And then um, you can adjust your search envelope and all that. Since we had this selected, it plugged in our as our target mesh, as our low res. We just need to select our gradient and show it. So we turn on the visibility, right click on your layer and select objects and then add that to your source mesh, your high poly. So you're kind of tricking uh, Maya into thinking that there's a high poly with a gradient or, or with something on the diffuse map. Then we click bake and now we should be able to close. We can hide our gradient layer and go back to our initial layer and just make a Lambert to test this. We'll throw this on oops, wrong one. Here's our baked one. Looks like that. So you can see we got some issues. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is this these are light because the one, the bolt that's getting baked out is actually up here. So if that's something that we wanted, uh, you know, we didn't want that to, to interfere with us, we would have to just not have overlapping UVs 
um, on top of that. So uh, that's essentially how you bake out a gradient map, though, in Maya.